It's the next morning and uh, we disconnected the trailer and uh, yes, there's a big bolt in this tire. Let's get it off and have a closer look here. We used the floor jack I had here at the ranch and uh, tires off the ground. We broke the nuts loose with our uh, modern spare wrench. And uh, we'll take a look here now. Well, there it is. Uh, in my book, it's uh, certainly close enough to the inside of the tire. And uh, we're going to unscrew this now and see if we can plug it with our plug kit. It's uh, just kind of like the other one I had in my wife's model S. We ground the top of it down pretty good coming over the snowy range last night. But hey, look, I got a washer out of the deal. How about that? You never want to throw away hardware. Well, we'll check it out. If the tire is no good, we go to plan B. All right, Greg, let's see if we can get this thing out of here. This is an 11 millimeter wrench. Let's hope it's a small chain. It feels small. Seems like I can find myself doing this a lot. <laughs> oh, this is, this is, this is a, uh, what it is, it's a screw. It's not a, a machine screw. The uh, screw that was in my wife's tire was a machine screw. So I think we have good luck here replacing it here. All right, let's prep it. All right, my handy dandy plug kit. It's the one I bought off of Amazon, and uh, I think we're good. We have our roughing up tool, yeah. And we got our lubricant, hmm. And then uh, these are the patches that go in there. And uh, just some other paraphernalia, new valve stem and some other stuff. All right, we're gonna uh, let the air out of the tire and uh, rough it up with this, and uh, then we'll get our, our uh, patch ready and stick it in the tire. I think it might work. Let's uh, rotate it till it's on top. Okay, right there. Greg's holding it here. Alright, let's uh, prepare the patch. The instructions indicate uh, we're supposed to put lube on our probe, so let's do that. I'm going to let this video run because you guys won't believe it. So I took the top of the lube off and the inner seal stayed on it. And you can put a little lube on yeah. that baby. All right, we're going to work it up and down. Oh, got that little piece in the face. We're good. Okay, tires to spot out of air. Yeah. Give me that thing. There's your. And we'll set the lube thing. over here because we're going to need it again. I'm going to set the uh, camera on the drill press. You can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the next step is to. I know it's upside down for you, but I'll flip it around and edit. So I gotta take one of these sticky things out. And they're very sticky. Okay. Now you have to put it into the tool. Now you gotta put a little lube on it because what happens is it's just super sticky. Uh, all right. Pull that through. I think I can. Uh, I can't. Lube it up here a little, both sides. All right, Let's see if we can pull it through. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to, this plug goes in that hole, 
I'm gonna lube this up. And the reason I do that, because the sticky rubber, once it sticks, it'll not do anything. Get it centered. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready. My hand's all mucked up here, but it's okay. All right, so let's uh, do the job. Are you ready? Go oh, wait, I'm gonna add a little bit more lube to it. Sorry. I want to make sure this thing will go in the tire just fine. Okay, so we're going to put a little right in the hole. And I think we're good. Drive okay, you ready? And you want to push it in so that it's not all the way in. And you need about that much, okay? It's about half the plug. And I push, I'm going to have to, here, you yeah. can just hold that right there just as you find it. I got it. Okay. Then I hold this metal thing here against the tire and pull up and pull it out. I'm supposed to cut that plug like that. Okay. So now our plug is in the tire halfway. All right. And we're going to just let it sit there for a little bit. All right, so the instructions say you're supposed to cut this almost off to the to the base. They give you this little razor knife. I don't cut the tread too much, like that. Okay, and uh, I think we're done. Well, what do you think of all this? Huh. Huh. It's a good thing we had all the tools. I agree. So here we are. Greg brought along his two uh, piston pump. We've got the plug in the tire and uh, it's doing its thing here. All right, uh, we did the water test. We're going to do it again. Let's make it just upright. There we go. All right, see if we got any bubbles here. All right. I'm not seeing anything. No, no, solid. I think we're successful and we're at 45 pounds. Okay. We're going to take it out on the road, put it back on the car. Here's what the screw looked like that was in the tire. It's, uh, I don't know, I would say just this side of an inch. And I would bet this much of it was into the uh, inside. So we're putting it back on. We're uh, just getting the lug nuts back on semi-tight this is a cool uh, wrench you pull it out and it makes a uh, breaker bar isn't that neat that comes with the modern spare if you don't have one you might consider it especially if you guys drive uh, a long way in the middle of nowhere well tesla service will get you there uh the uh Having your own uh, tire can get you f moving down the road faster. And that's the patch kit. I'll try to list the Amazon number that I bought this. This is one of the better ones. It's got better metal handles and it seems to work pretty well. I've patched about four tires now. So far so good. If the hole is uh, not a gigantic hole, it seems to work just fine. We're on Interstate 80. We're testing the new tire at high speed. So far, so good. If you like today's video, go ahead and click the like. And if you would, please subscribe. You know, I'd certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next videos and take care.